actually ended in tragedy, but when a teen heard two men break into his home, he sprang into action, scaring the crooks away. Josh Sheehy is the teen behind this harrowing story. He joins us live this morning from Chicago. Hey, Josh, how are you, man? Hey there, I'm doing good. You? I'm doing great. Tell me exactly what happened. What did you see when you came home, and what did you do? All right, well, when I got home, I uh, just walked down the hall, flipped on the light, went to my room, and uh, my dogs were downstairs, and uh, no one was home. It was just me, and I heard the door open, the back sliding door, and uh, I got suspicious because my dogs would bark and go crazy when my mom's home, and they didn't do that. So I got suspicious and got my airsoft pistol, this thing right here, and I walked down the hall, and I saw one man in my house and another dude right outside the window, and I shot at the one dude, I think I got him in like the side of the face. And I ran to my room and got my shotgun and my bayonet. And uh, I put a shell in my shotgun and ran outside and fired off a shot and they ran away. Josh, you don't appear that you were at all scared. Were you not frightened when you heard men breaking into your house and your home alone as a 13 year old? Well, I didn't really think it was happening because I live in a good part of town and this would never really happen, but I was shaking because of my adrenaline and uh, I wasn't really scared at all. What did your mom bit, and dad, uh, what your mom and dad have to say about this? Well, my dad wasn't even here, so I couldn't call him until later that night, but my mom was uh, gone at the store. She came back like 10 minutes later and she didn't believe me. She was in shock. She knew something was wrong because every light on the house, and out and in on the house was on. So she was wondering what was wrong. So she was surprised. And so will they think twice before leaving you home alone again? Or are they even more comfortable now knowing how well you handle yourself uh, around your guns? Um, well, they're proud of me. They're not really going to... Like, they know that I can take care of myself if I'm home alone now, so... I bet. And, and you really have, questioning that. Josh, you have some of the guns there with you, I'm told. Yeah. What do you have with you? Yeah, um, well, this is my airsoft pistol. This is what I walk down the hall with. Okay. And it's really powerful, and it hurts a lot. And, um... Now, what like, is that used is for? Obviously, out. obviously, you don't hunt with an air pistol. What do you do with that? Um, no, it's like I can play with my friends, and, like, you put little put little BBs in here and uh -huh. you shoot at each other and you could like play like games and stuff it's pretty cool and it's it hurts a lot but yeah <laughs> uh, last question Josh has this made you instantly yeah. if you weren't already the coolest kid in school <laughs> um well people are like asking me and now I think people, well I'm not sure like I'm not cool, that cool but <laughs> I just talk to a lot of more people now. So. <laughs> Very cool. All right, Josh Sheehy uh, yeah. started hunting when he was 11 and scared burglars out of his house at 13. Thanks for joining us this morning, man.